Hi everyone, this is Terry from Tangerine Mountain Imports and Designs. We are your kimono vendor that you see at Kentia Hall every year at Anime Expo. Now, unfortunately, we can't be together with you guys again this year, but the folks at Anime Expo asked us to curate a special exhibition of kimono that fuses together historical pieces and ensembles that represent some of your favorite characters from some pretty popular series like, oh, I don't know, Demon Slayer or Sailor Moon or Nudoni Kenshin. You know, just minor shows like that, right? In our quest to expand the information that's available in English about traditional Japanese clothing, we've amassed a collection of historical pieces that are hundreds of years old, and we have hundreds of these pieces. So we took a deep dive into our collection to try to find the perfect pieces that could be put together in an ensemble to represent some of the characters that we chose. Thank you for tuning in to this special exhibition brought to you by Tangerine Mountain Imports and Designs and Anime Expo 2021. We hope that you learn a lot about kimono through the lens of your favorite anime. Nudoni Kenshin is one of the most popular and beloved anime and manga series in the past 30 years. It features a wandering warrior by the name of Himura Kenshin, who takes a vow not to kill after spending his youth as a ruthless assassin, and then later as a soldier in the imperialist forces during the civil war that ushered in the Meiji era. The story is set at a time of enormous change in Japan. The relative isolationism of the Edo period was basically shattered by the West, and this huge influx of new ideas, technology, and fashions just came rushing into Japan. In fact, even though people like the Empress of Japan encouraged using Japanese materials to create clothing, kimono fell somewhat out of fashion during this time period as people sought to incorporate Western fashions into their clothing. The pieces chosen to represent Kenshin's ensemble were chosen for their look as opposed to their age. We selected a vintage russet silk women's kinsha crepe kimono because the color and drape come close to what Kenshin wears. We stitched the underarm openings closed to convert it to a men's kimono, a technique we sometimes see among the thousands of kimono we import every year at Tangerine Mountain. Kinsha crepe is created by over-twisting the weft threads as the fabric is woven, creating a slightly bumpy texture with a lot of drape and body consistent with the way that Kenshin is drawn, particularly in the manga. The obi is a vintage black men's obi in rayon. Hakama of Kenshin's time and socioeconomic status might have been made with a fiber-like hemp, as it was a less expensive material than silk. The white hakama are modern and made of rayon and have a similar drape as those worn by Kenshin in the anime and manga. Now, no conversation about the character of Himura Kenshin could be complete without talking about his love interest, Kamiya Kaoru. Kaoru is a reflection of the multifaceted nature of her country and time. She wears everything from kendo uniforms to sumptuous kimono befitting the daughter of a samurai. Interestingly, the large, bold designs depicted in Kaoru's kimono and obi often evoke the Taisho period, which was from 1912 to 1926, as opposed to the Meiji period which preceded it. At that time, smaller and more subdued designs were in vogue. The pieces we chose to construct Kaori's look for this exhibition reflects a compromise between remaining true to the period in which her story takes place and the larger, more Taisho-like designs depicted in her clothing in the anime and manga. Kaoru's kimono dates from the late Meiji to the early Taisho period and is made of fine silk. The designs hand-dyed on the kimono have many small details, which is typical of the Meiji period. We chose this particular piece in part because it's purple, which is a color Kaoru is often depicted wearing, and in part because it has the motif of a bridge along the front left panel. That's a nod to the fact that many important parts of the story of Kenshin and Kaoru occur around bridges and rivers. 
Kawaru's obi is a Taisho period green and orange chuya obi. This type of obi is full width, with a colorful pattern on one side and black satin weave silk on the other. This gave the wearer the option of a daytime look and an evening look in one obi. Kaoru's kimono accessories range from antique to vintage in age. Even though Kenshin and Kaoru are fictional characters, you can see that their garments have actual counterparts in Japanese history. We hope that you've enjoyed learning more about kimono in the Meiji period and in the anime Rudoni Kenshin. Thank you for tuning in to this special exhibition curated by Tangerine Mountain Imports and Designs for Anime Expo Light 2021. We want to thank everybody at Anime Expo for giving us this opportunity, and we invite you to check out the rest of our content for Anime Expo Light this year. We also want to thank the folks at the Fabian Gardens at the Kane County Forest Preserve in Illinois, especially Melissa and Marcus. Of course, we also want to say a big thank you to our model Tiffany, who did such an amazing job bringing all of these characters to life. Lastly, we want to invite you to check out the rest of our kimono-related content on YouTube and also on our socials. You can always find us at our website, too, at tangerinemountain.com. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we're looking forward to seeing you next year.